Emerson Bridge was shut down for eight hours today because possible explosives were found. They were like coke, they were like bottle-like devices. And the Coast Guard also closed the water nearby. The crossing just reopened about an hour ago. Senator your side's Ava Hurdle has been at the scene all day. Ava. Well, Nicole, we can tell you that a Chesapeake fire official says three inactive artillery shells were found and removed. The bridge reopened to traffic about 90 minutes ago. Chesapeake police got a call around 7.45 a.m. that a construction worker found old ammunition under the South Norfolk side of the bridge. That discovery shut it down to trains for a short time, but waterway and vehicular traffic was completely stopped. Police were stationed to divert traffic along with traffic cones and road signs. Drivers were urged to take alternate routes, the Interstate 64 high-rise bridge or the South Norfolk Jordan Bridge, which has a toll. Drivers weren't too happy when we told them why the Gilmerton was closed and what was found. Oh, they did? Bridge, military ordinance. Wow. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Is this inconvenience to you? Yes, because uh, we live right across the bridge. Yeah, it's a little bit, but we'll manage. Only from Chopper 10 can you see the exact area where the explosives experts are searching. Driver Marion Taylor takes occasional trips across the Gilmerton Bridge. I don't know. I don't go over it often, but I have friends on the other side I always go to, and I think it's just taking it too long to get our bridge in order. <laughs> really, it's been a long time. According to VDOT, some 35,000 vehicles use the bridge each day, and many of those drivers had to change their travel plans. And this bridge reopened to all traffic just before 4 this afternoon. We're live in Chesapeake tonight. Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.